Hello friends and welcome to the channel. Been drinking loads of tea lately, lemon and ginger being my poison of choice. You can probably hear in my voice that I'm a bit ill. Freshers Week is almost upon us and I can almost smell those fresh brains entering through the gate. Freshers Week is definitely one of those hectic periods in which you need to settle in, to make all those college and uni appointments and also make a friend or two so you don't get left out. Here are 5 things to expect before going to uni as well as some tips on how to stay on top of all of this. The number one thing to expect is that you're gonna have to remember loads of names or just forget them all and remember them later. In any case, make sure you remember at least a couple of names of the people you want to make friends with. A few friends will be very helpful in initially navigating a new and hostile environment such as the uni or college accommodation or the long corridors of the faculty building. Number two, Freshers Flu is real. I might even have it now even though I'm a fourth year and it's not even Freshers Week yet. Make sure to bring some meds with you from home, find out where the college or uni nurse is and register with a GP as soon as possible after you arrive. Also, notify at least one friend if you're feeling ill so that they can check on you regularly. In some cases, the freshers flu may turn out to be meningitis. When we arrive, we've even got these tiny slips of paper with the symptoms of meningitis in our pigeonholes. The box you've got in the Porges Lodge where people leave letters. You've got all the symptoms here. So meningitis is really dangerous and a friend checking on you can really save your life. Keep in mind that one of the most common symptoms of meningitis is aversion to light. So if you find that you can't look into the light through the window or you can't stand your laptop screen or your lamp, those are signs that you should be notifying someone. If you're coming to the UK from abroad, it might be a good idea to think about getting vaccinated for meningitis. Number three, in Freshers Week people are gonna drink. A lot. And I don't mean tea, I mean alcohol. This is not a joke. Most people who come to uni for the first time have just turned 18, they don't have a lot of experience with alcohol and they don't know their limits. A few people in our year even went to hospital on the first night of Freshers Week. So make sure to drink responsibly and test the waters before you jump in. Or should I say, test the alcohol? Again, make sure you have some friends around to take care of you in case anything happens. Number four, make sure you attend all faculty meetings because the introductory talks give you a great overview of what's gonna happen throughout the entire first term. I really recommend going because it will help you stay on top of everything and avoid falling behind. Also, there might be some study skills sessions and library tours organized by the librarians. I recommend going to those too because uh, you can really find out some more tips and tricks and uh, walk you through the steps of writing your first essays. In case you missed those meetings though, I'll make a few videos on this channel on essay writing tips and how to take notes in class and how to organize your bibliography. So make sure to subscribe if you want to find out more about that. So to wrap up point number four, don't neglect academic and administrative appointments because meeting people in your faculty and in your college is equally as important as meeting fellow freshers and parting hard. So before we go directly to point number five, um, I wanted to tell you that I've got a couple more videos that you might want to check out. One of them is uh, my room tour here at Clare College, Cambridge. You might want to see how um, accommodation in Cambridge is, or you might be choosing your college right now. So. Um, Maybe that will help you out. Also, I've got another video with tips and tricks on preparing your readings for the upcoming term. You might want to check that out if you've got a big reading list that the uni has given you to read before the start of the term. Point number five, locate the closest supermarket to you and the closest burger place that's open 24 seven. At the supermarket, make a savings card with them. It will save you a lot of money. I haven't done that even though I should have so don't make the same mistakes as I did. Also, knowing where a 24-7 pizza or burger or fries place is close to you, because sometimes you will have forgotten to eat dinner and you'll think you had something in the fridge, but it turns out you didn't have anything. So you need to go somewhere and buy some food. That burger place is gonna save your life, as I said. Also, speaking of food, drinking and money, 
Here's an extra tip from me. Don't spend your entire October allowance in Freshers Week. So that's it from me this week, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Smash that bell button to be notified when I post new videos. And have a great Freshers Week. Take care. Bye.